What's next in the construction of the Hellerock? That's what we're going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Uh, we're in the middle of the construction of the Hellerock rocket kit from Apogee Components. Um, it's a helicopter style rocket and it spins down and that's how it comes down without a parachute. Um, in our last video, we sanded the fins and removed them from the balsa sheet. That was the first step in the instructions. Um, and our next step is to cut out the pattern sheets, which you will find on the second to the last page of the instructions. So we want to cut these out. And I already cut it out from a different one. The uh, marking guide for the hinge. And this is the tube marking guide. And I've cut around the perimeter, but I need to cut these slots out as well. Um, so I just use a hobby knife for that. I lay it on top and then just cut so I get nice sharp corners. scrap we don't need. So this is going to get wrapped around the body tube. And you're going to need some masking tape. Tape it into place. And there's an overlap here. See this little overlap? You want to, that goes underneath and then you align these little lines right here to make sure that you have it on nice and straight and then put the tape on it. Make sure you pull it tight. And that you don't cover up the hole like I just did there. Okay, and then you slide it all the way to the, the top end so that the, the little cutouts here are towards the end of the tube. And then you're going to tape it down so that it can't move. And then get a pencil. And we want to mark these cutout locations. These are exhaust ports for the ejection charge. And then we need to mark the location of the fins and the launch lug. And here on this one here, we have the launch lug and the fin are real close together. And I'm going to put an L next to the launch lug line. And then we have the three fins. Just like that. And then we can remove the paper wrap. Okay, and now these lines here we need to extend down the length of the tube. You can use a door jam for this. Um, I like to use an aluminum angle. Uh, we also sell the Estes Ultimate Tube Marking Guide, um, which is a series of angles for different size tubes. That's 
the launch log line. And they have to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now our tube is marked, um, and then we're going to, these cutouts here, we need to cut them out of the tube as well. Um, this is a little trickier. They don't have to be perfect, like I said, these are just for the exhaust ports. But um, just score lightly and then cut through. I'll do all these first. Before I do the verticals or the lengthwise cuts. For the lengthwise cuts, I like to use the angle because it gives me a little bit more control on the cut to make those nice edge, edges sharp. See, I, I flip my blade around and then run it back the opposite direction so I can get into this upper corner. Just like that. So now we have those cut out. Um, next, we're going to glue the nose cone onto the body tube. Um, now, if you look at the nose cone, it's going to go right here like this. And there's an orientation to it. Um, it needs to be where the, uh, the little hooks can't be in line with the holes. They need to be halfway between the holes, just like that. And for this, I'm going to use thick super glue. I'll put some on there and then also put some on inside the perimeter here. And when you put them together, it will ooze out a little bit. So have some paper towels handy to wipe that off. Just like that. Okay. Now, the support pieces, these little things right here, they get glued in between the cutouts like that. So again, I'm going to use thick super glue, or you could use wood glue for this. Uh, super glue is just a little faster because it hardens almost instantly. Just like that, and I'll do the other two. Be careful with super glue because it sticks. It sticks good. There's two. Let's 
we sell a product called Happy Hands, and I already have put some on my hands. Uh, basically what it is is a barrier cream that makes it so the super glue doesn't stick as easily to your hands. It will stick, but it will peel off a lot easier later. Um, so you'll find that on the Epigee website. Now, whenever you're using super glue for, you know, doing small work like this, um, it really helps to have it. So at this point, we have the supports on. Um, and in the next video, we're going to install the engine block and put on the fins. So again, my name is Tim Van Milligan. Um, this is the Apogee channel um, where we build and fly rockets. Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.